him something to work with. I push down, he pushes back up. I let go, he relaxes. I push his head forward gently, he moves it, or he leans back into it. So I can give him some weight and he can lean back into it. I'm trying to mess his shape up, but he's engaging when he needs to and relaxing when he doesn't. So I want to confuse him. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Boom, bam. It's very easy to win. Put your arms down. So guys, at home, one person's holding the shape. The other person's trying to move the shape, but it's not about moving. It's about being strong when necessary and soft when not. So guys, get back to your mats. Maybe the other person gets to go this time. And it doesn't have to be a T. You can have your feet slightly wider. What I want you guys to do is play with muscular engagement. Now, it doesn't just have to be arms. You can use fingers, too. I'm trying to squeeze your fingers together. She's squeezing back. Now, it's what's really interesting about this, you might find when you start playing with it, the core activates, but then the toes get soft. Like, you really want to feel as the person who's being tested that your whole body is aware, is engaged. And of course, it's very easy to win. Look, I win. It's not about winning. <laughs> she wasn't even ready for it. The idea is a soft touch, a good intention, and really, a lot of fun. So what I'm seeing is a lot of smiles, which is great. Also, having a safe touch is really nice. So you know where to go for it and where not to go for it. And honestly, that's where a lot of trust is going to come through. When you learn how to get your hands onto a partner so they feel safe, you'll have a lot more ability to do things and make shapes without really having to worry about what's going to happen next. 